Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. For the Big Family Homestead. And uh, today we are talking about stuff you may or may not need. Uh, learn from our failures, our mistakes, our successes. <laughs> and we're talking about tractors today. This is a question, do you really need that? Do you really need it? Do you really need that? And if so, what? Mm -hmm. I will say, just so you're aware, we're not selling anything. Nope. Nope. This is not a this, sales video. This is not a sales video. We're not picking what color tractor you should have because all the different companies have different colors. If you like green so, ones, go great. for green ones. If you like, if you blue, like blue ones, ones go great. Blue, whatever. But we're, tr we're going to help you walk through whether or not you need this particular item on your farm, homestead, Self-reliant paradise. Exactly. Exactly. So here's the thing. This is not going to be like a quick video. We're not going to try to go into depth either. This is basically, I would say, do I need to research getting something more specific um, than I should rush out and buy a tractor? Not knowing what that tractor can do or what your needs are. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, I think the very first thing you need to do when you're trying to decide whether or not you need a tractor, if you need a tractor, what size, yada, yada, yippee, skippy, mm -hmm. is what are you going to use it for? Right. Right. That's the first you, one. Make a list of what your needs are. And then expand it. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. I can't tell you the amount of times that we have bought, well, we've only bought two tractors. Three. Uh, unless you count yard tractors and stuff. Well, three. We had we had the... Uh, the um, that one. The big one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the old Farmall. One. The old Farmall. That was it, Farmall. Yeah. yeah. Farmall M. Yeah. Right. But then we've had a slew of different yard tractors and with different implements. But yeah. what I mean by expand your idea of what you're going to use it for, because you don't know exactly what you need until you actually are out there doing it. You have a good idea, yeah. which that's what this is about, mm -hmm. is giving you a good idea. So if you think, okay, I'm going to have a hobby farm. I'm going to have five acres. I'm going to have some pigs i'm gonna have some chickens i'm gonna have a cow, a cow and that's it yeah. well then that's going to define for you a few things you're going to have to move a lot of poop move a lot of hay mm -hmm. move a lot of food mm -hmm. maybe even move deceased animals mm -hmm. you're going to have to dig holes yep. depending on where you live you're going to have to move snow right do you have a long driveway you're going to need probably something to keep it maintained, mm -hmm. like a box blade. Yep, yep. There's a lot of other implements. There are so many implements that I don't, I, I mean, I, there's, the list is miles long of how many implements you can get for a tractor. Mm -hmm. It's in, not miles long, I'm being dramatic, I'm, I'm exaggerating, it's not miles long, but the list is very long. Um, there's, well, I'm not going to go into what there is, but. Brush hogs are a big one. Brush depending hogs, on where you live. Depending on what you live, where you live, if you don't have animals that can cut the grass, you need something that's going to cut the grass for you. And a brush hog is not going to make it look pristine. But it's not those, a finish it's mower. It's not a fin. But they also have finish mowers. Is what I was getting to next. They have finish mowers that look like an actual. You know, they look like a nice lawn. lawn. Um, but again, you've got expense in that. You've got repair in that it's there's a lot to it but let's let's go back to assess what you need and then expand it a little bit sure because like for example there were times where we had gotten uh this boomer 55 new holland mm -hmm. tractor for us and there are times when i wish boy i had gotten something that had a little bit more what's called downward pressure mm -hmm. to to dig into uh the ground or snow or sand mm -hmm with the bucket. Yeah. Now you can get different kind of buckets that go on the front or different kind of teeth that you, go on them that will help dig in. Yeah. But again, there's things that you go, well, boy, it would have been a lot easier had we done this. For example, if we couldn't get to a butcher to process our cows, we could process a cow, but I, I think I could use a block and tackle and lift a cow up and do all the processing just by using the bucket of this tractor. Yeah. 
but I'm not sure. It's like right on the threshold of the abilities of this machine. Well, the cows that we grow, they don't get over a thousand pounds and the front end of our tractor can lift 1500. But, so it should. But for safety's sake, I would put some um, weight on the back of that tractor. I'd say put a bale of hay on the back or the box blade on yeah. the back because the box blade's pretty heavy. It's several hundred pounds. Um, but I would put some counterweight on the back yeah. there. But Going back to assess what you need. Mm -hmm. Are you just living in the suburbs and you've got maybe a quarter acre backyard? Uh, you might not need more yeah. than like one of these. Uh, a push mower? Well, no. <laughs> Come on now. I'm teasing. A prosumer tractor kind of thing where it's not a professional tractor, but they're these, these you know, they've got, it looks like a lawnmower, but then you can put like a small box on the front of it, or a small... Um, Snowblower. No, no, small scoop on the front oh, of it. Oh, sure, yeah. And even a friend of ours has one that has a small uh, a, a digging, backhoe. a backing, mm -hmm. backhoe mm -hmm. on the back of his, and his does a lot. Yeah. Of course, they're not cheap. No, no, they're not cheap. But they are useful if you need to move stuff around, dig holes, you know, that kind of thing. You're going to have animals. But I... For if you have such a small piece of property, I would just assume rent something. However, you here's know? that brings me to okay, know what it is that you want to do mm -hmm. with it before you start. Yeah, oh wait, we probably should have started with this. If you're a commercial farmer, this is gonna be a very short video because the answer is yes, you need a tractor. But the real question is not, do you need a tractor? For what and how many, right? So, right, because there's so many different this is not the video for, for yeah, you. This is not a track, this is not a video. For commercial farmers this isn't a video if you live in an apartment you can watch that'd be great but homesteaders this is, this hobbyists is, yeah this is for people who are um out there you know small farms growing stuff on their on their land and and they need to have right. a big piece of equipment okay point number two when you're deciding do i need a tractor and if so how much of a tractor do i need how old are you yeah do you have health issues mm -hmm. because that, that it's a force it. A, a tractor is a force multiplier. Mm -hmm. And and by that, what I mean, guys, is I can schlep around 150 pounds if I have to, but I really don't want to. Right. I can carry a 100-pound bag of feed, and I can. It's no big deal. But my back's, you know. He's going to pay for it later. I'm going to, if I have to move 1,000 pounds by myself with my hands, I am going to hurt. Yeah, yeah. But if I go from junk to chunk from the truck bed to the bucket mm -hmm. not so big of a problem now no not really no do you are you getting older think about not what you're going to need now but what you're going to need five years from now ten years from now mm -hmm. and nobody has a crystal ball but you can kind of look ahead and say well you know what? I, i'm not feeling so good right now i should probably get something that i know i'm going to be able to move feed with or this with or that with and you will thank yourself. Yes. Oh, yes. And the different things that you can put on, say, the front of your tractor or the back of your tractor. So um, quick attach things for the front of your tractor. Implements. Implements. Uh, Three-point implements for the back of the tractor. Those are, you know, those are definite things you want to consider. Well, when it, I want to come back to the age thing. But mm -hmm. when it comes to implements, there's a tool for everything. Oh my, yes. You don't have to buy them all. No. There's so many implements you could do multiple things with. Mm -hmm. Some are not necessarily OSHA approved, but you can get things done. Right. I've moved around uh, sheep shacks. I've moved around feeder palaces with mm -hmm. the bucket. Mm -hmm. You know? Lots of poo. Would you say that that would be necessarily the safest thing to do would it be in your manual probably not but there's a lot of things you can do that you don't have to buy the specific implement for right right we move snow with a bucket instead of a blower why because a blower costs five thousand dollars more than the bucket yeah yeah a snow blower is quite expensive for the front of a tractor and you know what We've decided there's more things, or there's things that are more important than, say, a snowblower. For now. For now, right. Snowblower would be nice. Mm -hmm.
Here's another consideration um, when it comes going back to age and strength. And that is, these all play together. Geography, where do you live? Oh. Because I am getting older. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not as strong as I was when I was 24. And you know what? I'm, I'm not going to lie when I say that heated cab is so nice <laughs> when it's negative 10 degrees outside. And I am... Not wearing, a, so. not wearing a jacket, and I'm listening to the radio, mm -hmm. and I'm just sitting there going, man, it's getting hot in here. I should turn this down. Aren't you glad I pushed for the cab? I actually didn't want it. He didn't want it, because it was a bit extra. A bit. A bit extra of the fee in the cost of the tractor, but, you know, our winters are quite long, and um, it gets quite cold here. It can drop down to negative 40. Oh, sure. You know? Uh, in January or February. So, yeah, we're going to have an enclosed cab because I need to keep my baby safe. So that would that would go right into <laughs> the needs versus wants. Yes. Well, where we live, that's more of a need than a want. That is a need, yes. I do I really I need. need it? No, but do is it a really nice want? It's a big want. It's, in my opinion, it's a need because you need to stay safe when you're outside keep for your hours and keep your fingers and your toes. You don't need to be exposed to the elements for that long because our driveway is quite long. Mm -hmm. And he's, when there's a good bit of snow, he's out there for several hours. And that's with a big tractor. And that's with a big tractor and a bucket. I can't even imagine if he had to push snow below that. No way. No, At, well, it would not be possible. And I, I will say this. It's not the most efficient tool for the job. I know that. But it gets it done. A, an old truck, if you could buy a $500 beater truck and get a snow plow for the front of it with the heat in the car or truck, that would be better than the plow. But mm -hmm. sometime, sure. sometimes during the winter, two hours outside in the quiet, by myself, kind of nice. Not, not away from her. Kids. <laughs> dogs more likely chaos yeah dogs are chaos oh boy so going back to age slash geography considering what your specific property is mm -hmm. what it looks like that's a big deal are you gonna have mm -hmm. to be hauling lumber mm -hmm. well you can just hook a chain on or there are implements mm -hmm. which weighs into how many horsepower you need yeah, if you're lifting a bunch of, if you're having to move round hay bales, you're going to need to have a, something with higher horsepower. Um, yeah, these bales of hay that we're getting now are 1,600 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's no joke. Our 8N could not lift that. No. <laughs> no. We have old videos where mom was literally on the front of the 8N holding it down <coughs> with yes. her body weight counterbalance. as counterbalance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll never do that again. Um, well, I shouldn't say never, because I don't want to do that again. <laughs> if we had to, we, then we would. <laughs> Here's a big one that a lot of people don't think about till it's too late. Sorry about this, guys. My back is... I've got a bad back. Um, one to think about before it's too late is the um, gasoline versus diesel. Yeah. Diesel right now is costing more than gas but here's here's a big thing for people that are prepared minded people diesel doesn't go bad yeah you can stick a bunch of it in a tank mm -hmm. buy a tank set it over there and it's going to be the same price you bought it the day you bought it till the day you use it right yep here's another thing to think about you can buy if you're truly a farm you can get your farm or even hobby farm designated as a hobby farm or a farm. That way you can buy cheaper fuel that's tax-free mm -hmm. and have it delivered to your house. Yep. Yep. That's a, that's a great savings, honestly. Yeah, but you got to keep it legal. Yeah. So um, those are the big points that I think you need to consider before you step foot in a dealership because the dealer's going to go, come on down. Oh, and they're going to make the deal so sweet. Yep. I will say, these people did not ask for our endorsement, but 
I'm going to give it because they were really, really great. They were run wonderful. If you're in central you. Wisconsin, Swiderski's where we got mm -hmm. our New Holland. Yep. And it was great. Yep. Yep. Mike. Mike. Yeah. Mike. <laughs> Salesman Mike. <laughs> well, and he was at the... He's at the... Is he at Thorpe? Thorpe. Yeah, he's at the Thorpe dealership. And that, everybody there was super great, super nice. Um, yeah, and they really did uh, work with us yes. really, really nicely when we bought our tractor there. And I'll tell you what, it's like it's like a car dealership, guys, um, because you're dealing with pieces of equipment that are as expensive as a car or a truck or more. Yeah. And so what you have to do, don't just think, well, I'm just going to this one spot and then that's it. Mm -hmm. You've got to shop around because yeah. even like um, brands from dealership to dealership can vary widely. Yeah. And some dealers are so happy to make a sale, they'll drive it to your house from another state. Our tractor was delivered to us. Yeah. But not from a different state. But they do that. Mm -hmm. Because why? They're making a lot of money. Yeah. 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 So shop around. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think the big things are geography, age, what you're going to use it for, yeah, what your, needs what your are. property is like, mm -hmm. and yeah. then expand that. Because mm -hmm. it's like a barn. When you when you sit down and draw up plans, to, well, here, you, you tell them. When you sit down to draw up your plans on what you uh, believe your needs are for your barn, double it. Because you run out of space really fast. Isn't it weird how mm -hmm. we humans have a way of saying, wow, this is a big wide open space that is mine and is covered and is protected. Mm -hmm. Fill it up. Right, right, right. But you made it 5,000 square feet. Fill it up. Fill it up. <laughs> yeah, let's see, I, I would love our barn to be double the size. That way we'd have stalls inside and our equipment is somewhere else. But it ain't happening, so. Yeah, well that said, happy tractoring. Yes, enjoy. Shopping around for a tractor because it's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> for us, it was a blast. It was a blast, yeah. Yeah. And we bought it. <laughs> no, it wasn't in the wintertime. I thought it was in the wintertime. Or was it? It was fall. It had not been winterized yet. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. a lot of fun. So, anyway. There you have it, folks. Hope you're going to have a blessed day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Consider a lot of things, but also just be also aware that analysis paralysis will get you nowhere. True. Study, 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 ask around, ask mm -hmm. around, talk to people, but then be willing to make, make the decision. Yeah. So yep. that's it. That's it. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day.